Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday. If you haven't yet, please go down and hit that subscribe button below and that bell notification so that you get notified each time I upload a video. Well guys, today we are driving the non-turbo, non-sporty, kind of fuel efficient plain Jane old Toyota Yaris. And the reason for that is I've sold my Kia Soul. Yep, that's right. At first, I was in shock. She fell in love with the car, mostly for what the Kia Soul is. There's lots of room, it sits up high, it's easy to get in and out of. But secondly, because of the price point. Now, some of you might be asking, what about the radio? Well, the radio is next door at Cox Electronics. And the boys over there, Trevor, Rob, and Stefan, are trying to figure out what's going on with it. They think they may have it narrowed down to simply a firmware update. So, we're going to try that today. See if we can do a firmware update and get everything working. That way the customer can take possession of that vehicle. And we move on to another daily driver. Besides the fact that my Yaris is telling me that I need gas, it's also telling me that it's 22 degrees Celsius at 8.04 in the morning. That's about 71 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to be a hot muggy day again, boys. So we've made it back to work. And one of the newest additions that we'll see sitting on the lot is the 627,000 kilometer Toyota Sienna. Now, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, this van will be up for sale very shortly. We are going to clean it all up. We're going to leave the brand new tires on it. We're also going to leave the old car auto guy sticker on the back of it. But, we are also going to try and get this door to open because I don't believe that that's very safe if it can't be open from the inside. Um, so we're going to have to take the door panel apart see if we can't figure that out. But all in all, it's a uh, it, it's going to be a good working van like I said. With uh, It does have a crack in the windshield and uh, not right now but probably when the inspection time rolls around next year there may be some uh, rocker panel work that has to be done on this side. Two years ago we replaced probably about the, the back two-thirds of the rocker panel because it was pretty uh, they had holes in the back of it so we replaced that and the front was still pretty good but now the front is being a little bit how we say seedy and uh, it's time to get the front part done. Um, I'm not going to do that because it's probably about a $400 expense to get the rocker panels done and I mean if we're going to sell this van for very inexpensive it's probably not going to be economical for us to do it that way. So again if you're local and you see this video and you're interested in a cheap uh, you're interested in a cheap van um, you know that's going to get you through a couple more years I'd like to introduce you to the 2006 Toyota Sienna. And all joking aside, do not let the mileage scare you. Talk to anybody, anybody that tells you that highway miles doesn't hurt a vehicle, they're absolutely 100% right. This van still has the original starter, alternator, um, the engine, transmission, all that stuff is still original. So the mileage doesn't hurt these things when they're traveling at highway speeds because they're at a constant speed, they stay hot, Things that's what things like. The original exhaust, I've never replaced the muffler on that thing. Um, done a flex pipe here or there because those are common on, <coughs> on just about anything. But nonetheless, uh, four brand new Michelin tires, there's almost $800 right there. Uh, we put new brakes on it to just back in the early spring a little while ago, new pads and rotors up front. So, I mean, the van rides good. Uh, it still looks fairly decent maybe with the exception of the dent in the door but nonetheless you know air conditioning air conditioning still blows super cold freezer right out it does have the rear air conditioning uh, for the back seat passengers 
and uh, you know the back seats fold right into the floor so it's a uh, it, it'll make a great starter family vehicle for somebody or a second vehicle for somebody or for some family um, maybe they want to put it to work maybe they want to uh, you know haul some lumber or something like that with it I don't know not like I haven't done that in the past but anyways guys we're gonna get the van in today we're gonna get it cleaned up and uh, ready for sale so if you're interested throw me a line well Junior's working away at it <laughs> got the engine bay all cleaned up new battery by the way How you making out, Junior? Good. They're all shampooed. No, no, not the whole thing. No? No. Yeah, I got that little spot right there. Yeah. And bottom the seat. Yep. Still got a ways yet. We're going to have to uh, probably get that uh, driver's side rear seat out. Why? Yeah, so we can take that door panel off and try and fix that door so we can get it open. At least from the inside. <laughs> Be nice to get into it, get in and out of it. Well, guys, it's after supper, and I figured that I could talk my wife into going out for a little bit of a drive. And yes, she's letting me drive in the new Veloster, and uh, we're heading out to the test track. Now, down in Pennsylvania, those guys are so close to Mexico that it's just a little drive for them. For us, the test track is not that far away. So that's where we're headed right now, and we'll meet you out there. So this is our proving grounds, our test track. And it is at an undisclosed location for obvious reasons. We like to come here, test out different things that we do to different vehicles. And uh, it's out of the way, no traffic to worry about, and we've got the space rented just for us. She's having way too much fun with this. having all the fun. Camera's doing all the work. Somebody's having all the fun. <laughs> you should have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Am I driving? <laughs> Helps to be recording. Ready? Yep. One. Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He stalled it, folks. He stalled it. Yeah, but I can edit that out.
Ford F-150 that I did was 6.9 or something like that with a big V8. Now this is a 2,800 pound car with 200 horsepower and it just did it in 8.99. So we're talking about maybe two seconds difference between this and a big V8 truck. So we might have to try that zero to 60 again, see if I can get a better launch. Hey guys, we made it back from the test track and I just wanted to let you know that turbo lag is an issue. But nevertheless, we had fun and we learned a lot about this little car. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next upload.